Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm gonna to share with you another what I eat in a day. A few things before anything. My shirt's a little see-through. It's okay, I'm just at home. I'm not even going anywhere. It's fine. By the way, I got this bralette at Old Navy. It's so comfortable. It's a bralette, there's no wire or anything. It's really comfortable. And actually, speaking of bras, I got this bra at Target yesterday. I always have like a hard time finding bras that I find comfortable. It took me a while to realize it, but I think because I'm just so, I was so used to wearing bras that are, are padded, you know? Um, not necessarily a really thick padding, but always padded my whole life. So I just feel like I'm always so much more comfortable when I have like a bralette on or like something like lighter not like a big bulky bra lately that's how what i've realized that i like so i was like you know what let me try a different type of bra so i actually got one that has absolutely no padding i got it at target first of all it's beautiful it's like a lacy beautiful bra um the what's it called the underlining comes up like this um, there's no padding. There is underlining. It's just really pretty and like really light. It was only $16, $16.99. And it's so comfortable and fits so good. You know how like when you wear some bras, the cup, well at least for me, I think that I've always brought, bought the wrong bra size most likely. Um, but like the cup, your boob falls out of the top of the cup. I hate that. And I hate if the cup does not, like, is not completely flat on my boob. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you could see it on your shirt. That bothers me so much. Anyway, I just recently threw a bra away because I was like, I never, ever wear this. Um, I basically was rotating between, like, bralettes and a, and then two other bras that are, like, racer back bras and, like, clothes in the front. Also from Target, from the Auden line. And... Those are really comfortable, and I like how it makes my, like, they're very lightly lined, and they don't make my boobs look, like, huge. I've always said, like, I want fake boobs, and I do, but really what I want is, like, a breast lift, because I do, wouldn't want bigger boobs. I just want either my size or even smaller would be fine, but I just want them to, like, perk up you know what I mean <laughs> anyway that's my story this bra is so great I actually ordered two more because I finally found a bra that I love um and it seems comfortable like I'll wear it like during the day rather than a bralette every day second thing is I've been doing so good so good if you guys watched my last what I eat in a day video I will post that in the cards above if you watched it then you know um that i have been on this like challenge with myself of doing a list of things like a list of things every day it, this is not all a list i just wrote stuff at the bottom as well the only things i've been failing on really is reading a chapter a day that is very hard for me i am not a reader i never have been i just want to be a reader like the idea of having a book and taking it and sitting outside and reading it or reading in bed like before i go to sleep that all sounds so relaxing and just the idea of it is great i don't like the idea of audiobooks i don't like the way they sound like the way at least the ones that I've heard Bobby listening to. And I just like the idea of being able to turn pages. You know what I mean? But then once I get to wherever it is I'm going to read this book, I struggle. Like, I struggle reading. Like, it takes a lot for me to pay attention. Otherwise, my mind, I'm reading it and my mind just goes. So, anyway, I need to figure something out. Unfortunately, what I realized, even though I don't like audiobooks, they probably would be a better bet for me because going for a walk for at least two miles every day, um, that gives me like the perfect amount, perfect time to listen and read a chapter in a book, you know? I've been listening to podcasts when I'm walking. 
rather than music, which I've actually really been enjoying. So it wouldn't be that hard to switch over to an audiobook, I don't think. But like I said, I just really like the idea of turning pages and reading a book and not just sitting on my headphones listening to it. But whatever, we'll see. I've exercised for 30 minutes every day and I've gone for a walk for at least two miles every day except for one day when it was raining and honestly I wish I could use the excuse that it was a rain but I knew it was going to rain so what I should have done is made it a point to do it before it rained and I didn't so that was my own fault but lesson learned because that was Monday today's Wednesday that was on Monday and it was so hard to close out my rings without going for a walk and I also couldn't get in 10,000 steps without going for a walk. So that just shows me that in order to close out my rings and get at least 10,000 steps a day, I have to go outside and go for a walk because I still was up and moving around the house. Still while I was working, I was getting up, moving as much as I could, and it still just like wasn't enough. So I have to make sure I get my walk in. For exercises, I've actually, I've done the bike a few times, but I have been doing these videos of this girl's YouTube channel that I found. The YouTube channel's name is Mad Fit. The girl's name is Maddie, I think. Makes sense. Mad Fit, you know. Maddie, Madeline, something, something along those lines. Um, but yeah, I just like the way that she talks through it, like... I, you know what I mean? I like her personality. I like the videos. Some of the stuff is a little hard, but I just do like the best that I can. Um, and that's it. That's all you could do, right? Do the best that you can. I'm definitely enjoying doing those a lot more. And her videos are like, they're all different. Like, um, it's not just one specific type. So I'll put that in the description box below of what I've been doing. That's really it. I've been doing really good. Oh, and I've been eating on track. Aside from my, my cheat treat day on Saturday, um, aside, aside from that, I've been eating on track every day, which is awesome. Third thing, if you couldn't tell, I'm wearing new glasses. So, of course, these are from Zinf. I wanted to show you. Um, they are also very different, just like the last pair of the orange ones that I got. If you don't know, you should know because I swear I think I talk about Zinf all the time. I love Zinf. I wear prescription glasses and I have been getting glasses from them. I'm so happy to be working with them again. These are the, I'll put it on the screen right here. The thing that I love the most is that they have so many different types of pairs of glasses, like styles. So like now at this point, I have a lot of pairs. So I'm able to switch off every day if I wanted to to wear whatever I want. And they're so affordable that you like can afford to do that. I've never ever had that. Like I've always just had one pair of glasses that I always wear until I need to get a new pair. I'll never go back to buying glasses um, any other way because they are amazing quality, amazing frames. They are exactly the same as if you went to the store and got frames from like an eyeglass store. They're just so good. So I've been really loving having like fun pairs of glasses. Really, really love it. These are them. They're like red on top and uh, tortoise on the bottom. I think they're so cool. They're almost like red. It's not wood. It's plastic, but it has like a wood texture on it, which I think is really cool. And then it has the gold top. I always get gold. Um, like if there's a choice, I'll always get gold. I, they have these in different colors too, but I always get gold because I always wear gold jewelry and my nose ring is gold. So it just matches. If you want to check Zinf out, just go to Zinf.com. You can use my code TINA for 50% off your frames and 20% off your lenses. And I'm telling you, it's a good deal. It's a really good deal because the frames that you're getting 50% off on are already super affordable, like $20, 30 $40. All, they're all different, but they're all really affordable. And they have tons of different styles. They have large frames, small frames, anything to fit your needs and your wants and your desires and anything you can dream of so definitely check them out and use my code you will not regret it nice right nice and fun i love being able to change them up 
it is time for me to go downstairs get some water i'm debating on if i'm going to make a smoothie or not i think i am um i've been adding a lot of extra things to my smoothie lately so let's go downstairs figure it out and start our day have my little egg scramble here with mushrooms, peppers, um, green onion, and eggs. And I'm just going to put, so all that zero points, and I'm just going to put some of this, if you could see, the Trader Joe's light nuts on it. Um, if you do this in grams, you really get a lot of it. In grams, you can have up to 45 grams for two points which is a lot. Have my scale on grams. That's already 12 grams. So now imagine that <laughs> to 45. I don't think I'll need 45. So let's just do that much. That's 23. I'm also gonna put some avocado on it. I have some left over from yesterday. So I'm gonna hope that this is 46 grams worth. Um, 46 grams is two points. Mm, it's just under, let's see how much I can get, 37 grams. The only other thing I did, my camera actually died while I was downstairs, so I just finished and brought it up. Because the only other extra thing I did was drizzle this chipotle sauce on top. Uh, it's the Good and Gather brand at Target. I have not tried this yet, but it's really good in points. So I did one point's worth of drizzle. I switched my cheese from two points to one point uh, since I only did 26 grams. And that's it. So I'm going to go eat this up, drink my water, get some work done, and I'll see you guys later. Just got a snack. I just made some iced coffee. going to be honest, I don't love it. It's the Trader Joe's Concentrate Cold Brew. Not a fan. But gonna drink it we got more water I got I know I'm trying to be better on cheese but I can't help it I'm addicted I have a Trader Joe's string cheese here and this is like the fresh schmutz one these are really good but um they're two points each and they actually expire soon which I saw on the thing so I'm just gonna eat them up quick and get them out of here and then another thing I have is this little cup of Pop Chips brand Puffs, and it's peanut butter chocolate. They're really good. They do taste like a uh, Reese's peanut butter cup. Got to track it. I didn't have my phone down with me, so I just weighed out a half an ounce of them. Half an ounce is only two points. That's awesome. I already tracked my dinner, which is good. Uh, so I have six points left for the day, which I'll probably have like a two point snack again later on. And then I'll probably have some ice cream for dessert. I bought this new brand of ice cream from Target. Uh, the brand I think is called favorite day or something like that. Um, and I got cookie dough and I got mint cookies and cream, not mint chocolate chip, mint cookies and cream. And it's so good. I have a little two point snack here. One point for the thin rice cake, rice stacker, and one tablespoon, which is one point of light flour jalapeno dip from Trader Joe's. Yum, yum, yum. Have to go for this walk. I really don't feel like it, even though it looks beautiful outside. Have to do it, have to do it. If I don't do it, I won't get in my steps and it's gonna be so hard for me to close out my rings for the day, so. Have to do it. I'm forcing myself. 
I have my snack. So let's just go do it and get it done. I'm about to go on my walk, but I want to let you guys know I have an apricot. And it was delicious. I know I had a smoothie this morning, and usually I won't have fruit as a snack, but these are so tiny, and I just wanted one. How cute. Like a little butt. I'm home. I did it. I'm telling you, I never regret it, ever. I haven't regretted it. Um, literally, I checked my watch as I was walking under two minutes in, and I was like, wow, I'm so glad I did this. I start feeling better. It's really just the, like, getting out the door and doing it. I'm pretty proud. All right, let me go make dinner, and then I'll go exercise, and yeah. All right, bye. So I bought these when we went to World Market the other day, and surprisingly, I tried my first one yesterday. I like it. I don't know if I'm like tricking myself because I don't like seltzer, but this has carbonated mineral water. It tastes like if you go to a restaurant, they're like, do you want sparkling or flat? It tastes like sparkling. It doesn't taste like seltzer, but I don't know if that's just my, blame, my brain playing tricks on me because it's in a bottle. So it's like I'm drinking a Coke out of a bottle, which is like my favorite thing that I have not had in like a year. I don't know. It's pretty good. Or maybe it's just because I've only been having water lately over the, well, I had one of these yesterday, but over the weekends I had soda on Saturday on my cheat day. Um, and that's it. I haven't been drinking much soda because I'm just trying not to because I know it's so bad for you. But that might be a lie. I might have had one on Monday too. I'm not sure. So I kind of thought I knew what I was making for dinner, but I don't. Um, I had it planned out and then I just kind of didn't want that anymore. So I still don't know, but I do know that I'm going to make these butternut squash zigzags from Trader Joe's because um, if you watched my haul, I had bought two things of them and their date, like Best Buy date is today. But I still got two because um, they're just so good. So I thought I was going to try and freeze them, but I already threw one pack. And this was like the rest of the other pack. So I figure I'll just try and make them all or at least like most of them. And just heat them up in the air fryer or something. I don't know. These smell kind of weird. I don't know. I'm sure they're fine. These ones are slimy. Is that normal? I don't know. I'm just going to make them all. We'll eat a bunch tonight. And then I'll save the rest. So I have the oven preheated to 400. And I'm just going to put some olive oil, garlic, powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper on top. And that's it. I'm just browning up some ground beef, 96%. And I decided to go with the first thing that I thought I was gonna cook, which is gonna be tacos. So Taco Wednesday. We're gonna try these jicama wraps instead of taco shells. I also made some tzatziki sauce. I didn't show you because I've showed it a lot of times by now. Um, yeah, I had a cucumber and Greek yogurt and I really like having it in the fridge for the week so that even though the week's halfway over, but um, just to like put on stuff, I used to basically a salad dressing the other day um, to top on anything. It's just really good. You can use it as a dip and I count it as zero points because there's two tablespoons of olive oil in the whole thing, but um, not having any direct olive oil, you know what I'm saying? It's only a little bit in a whole big thing, so, yeah. I'm making tacos. I made tzatziki before just to have in the fridge. So what I thought was, I will make Greek-inspired tacos. Now here's what how I'll do it. Remember this taco seasoning I used one time? And we were like, wow, this tastes mm. like, um, pasticcio? Yes. I'm gonna use uh, this one and then we'll put feta cheese, red onion, and what is this dog tzatziki eating? sauce on it. I think he, it's a... He's eating lettuce. Okay. 
Yeah, I think that's a great what idea. What do you think about that? Hell yeah. Cool. Yeah, this taco seasoning tastes very, what would you say? Uh, Greek? <laughs> it doesn't taste like taco seasoning. I'll say that. These are the squash fries. Bobby liked them, right? They were good, yeah. Yeah. They're really good. We had another night. Okay. Um, the jicama wraps, they don't look great. They are very floppy. I don't think I'm going to like it at all. You can see through it. Right? Yeah. I do have these street taco ones where they're one point each. So I think I'm going to have two of these and one of these. Because everything else is very low in points, if not and none. So... There I have it. Dinner. Now let's see if I like it. I'm gonna try the jicama for you. I'm not gonna like it. It's so thin. It doesn't taste like anything. I really only taste the meat and stuff. So actually it's not bad. Very surprising. But it doesn't fulfill that taco feeling because, you know, you don't taste it. But let me see what it's like in the normal taco things that I use. Yeah, that's better, obviously. But honestly, the jicama things aren't bad. And my Greek-inspired tacos are pretty good. It's the best part of the night. This is the new ice cream I got, and it's so good. I love mint cookies and cream, not mint chip mint chocolate chip but mint cookies and cream delicious i got this at target um and i have five points left for the day so i'm gonna have five points worth of this which is 105 grams 104 grams I have my ice cream it's actually I, it's in like a small bowl so it looks like more but it actually is a really good portion of ice cream um because like I said, I had five points left and I actually pr went over the grams by a few. So, cause there was only a little bit left in the carton. Um, and it like, wasn't worth it. Like it wasn't even enough for like another serving by itself. So I just took it. So I guess I'm probably like a point over, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat this, enjoy it. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, what I eat in a day. If you want to see more videos about my weight loss journey and just my life in general, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at somethingtina. And don't forget to check Zinf out and get yourself some glasses. I'm going to have more pairs coming soon. I spent my own money outside of working with them and bought two new pairs of prescription sunglasses. So they should be here soon. Um, and I will definitely show you when they arrive. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.